So I cleaned up everything nicely and now it's time to put everything together again. Starting with the um, touch rectifier. And yeah, unfortunately my countersunk screw is too short, uh, but <laughs> so I had to order some longer ones, 60 millimeter, and also without the, with a really flat head. Yeah, anyway. Let's get the thing together again. And for the time being, I will simply tape the back side with some isolation tape. So. enough and now the first heat sink with a TO3 transistor. Much easier to put them in when uh, the transformer is still out. Just a second. Yeah, these old style heat sinks are a pain in the ass to assemble. So these are two spaces keeping uh, the heat sinks from touching and uh, the case and keeping them isolated from the case. go in this way and two more and of course the other one fell off Yeah, I'm not really in the shot with that stuff, huh? Ah, well, shit happens. So, base and the amateur or collector, I don't remember which one that is, goes through the holes and then the screws stick through and you see how that <laughs> screw is almost touching there. So and another thing is fitting these isolation nipples so that they actually go through the isolation washers, which is obviously a pain in the ass. Okay, I screw that together and then I come back to you. So, the heat sinks are in again and now comes the IC power connector with where are we? 
screws, washers and butts. That was the IC power connector and the next stop on the back would be the fuse holder. Fuse holder is done and next stop power connector. That's a simple snap in so it should snap in just like that. Okay, next step, transformer. Oh, yeah, the big bad one. And we have all the screws here. And yeah, you've seen me done that before. So, but just because it was so much fun last time, washers. Come on. Distance part. Second washers. <laughs> so the transformer is back in, and now come the potentiometers. And no, <clears throat> this old crusty one will be replaced uh, with a 10 ton one like that, but uh, I don't have the right value in a 10 turn one because I don't stock 10 turn potentiometers. They're quite expensive. Potentiometers are back in and now come the binding posts. Binding posts are in and now come the panel instruments and I won't snap them in completely because uh, I got the feeling I will remove them <laughs> a few times. <coughs> okay, the ammeter comes, of course, to this side. Yeah, that's deep enough. And the voltmeter right way around to this side. That's also deep enough. Wonderful. Last but not least, the feet. So, feet are back in two. And what's really left to do is build some bridge here to mount my 2 times 5 volt in potential free power supply for the meters. And yeah, I guess I'll have to think about the best way to do that. So first I thought I have uh, some more isolation material here over the posts on the primary side, on the main side of the transformer, because if you go in with an, say for some reason, with an unisolated uh, screwdriver to the adjustment pot of the instrument, uh, you see, you <laughs> yeah, and of course you adjust the instrument while the whole thing is turned on, so yeah, 
<coughs> somehow another sheet of isolation here over the primary side and um, I will build the bridge from some isolating uh, circuit board material. Yeah, there's a nice strip I can saw off here and the standoffs will be made from these long brass nuts, distance holders, whatever. Yeah, just add some brass. It's always nice to see. Huh? Okay, I'll come back to you when I'm ready to get all these parts in shape. Yeah, I I bought that uh, isolation shield stuff, but uh, yeah, it should be okay. A washer below and a washer on top because this is just some plastic and And final nut. I just hand tied it because I have to take it off anyway when I'm uh, yeah, wiring up the stuff again. But now you can, uh, even if it's switched on, go into uh, the adjustment pot. Uh, oh. I'll show you from the other side the adjustment pot here. So even if you have an unisolated, uh, which you shouldn't use, uh, screwdriver, there's uh, no chance touching mains connection. Yeah, very nice. I mean, it's a lab power supply, not a consumer product, is it? Okay. Now for the bridge. And we are back to sawing. And filing, of course. So I measured the, uh, the distances of the holes in the different part and calculated uh, the distances of the holes uh, from one edge, all measured from one edge. That's uh, important, so your part in itself might be off a few millimeters, but the distances of the holes, the relative distances between them should be all right. And I, yeah. I marked the center line and uh, yeah, where the holes should go. And now it's back to drilling and center punching. So slight change of plan. <coughs> Drilled the bridge and uh, put in two screws. So I won't use the uh, brass nuts, the long ones. And uh, I've cut uh, yeah, some kind of plastic washer from the isolation material. So I can now put this on. And have the same height on this side and on this side. Oh, missing two washers, just a second. Okay, then I can mount my bridge right here. Oops, uh, the side, put a washer on it and A nut. Yeah. 
I only hand type that uh, because, as I said, if I start wiring the whole thing up, I might have. Yeah, and then I have two screws where I can exactly adjust the height where the two times five volt AC DC converter goes. And yeah, I cannot screw. <laughs> uh, I I have no more M3 screws. I finally run out. So yeah, I have to order one. But that's it. That was the mechanical work. So front panel, new holes for the instruments. We uh, moved the transformer little bit uh, uh, only a few millimeter to the front and uh, to the right to have more space for the new IEC power connector and the fuse holder which are now in the back and of course I have also no fitting screw available so there's a tape over it and my, so a new hole for Mounting, sorry, mounting the bridge rectifier. And uh, yeah, there's still enough clearance to connect the thing. Yeah, that would have been a bummer, but I could always have. See, that's a little tight here now, but I could have always filed that away. Didn't thought about the bridge when I put it there, did I? <laughs> Okay, that's it for uh, now and uh, next step is wiring up the whole thing again. Bye.